In this video, I'm going to illustrate the use of the ternary operator to make a selection in Java. A quick explanation of the code that we're going to look at and modify. First of all, we set up the scanner to read from the keyboard and then prompt the user to enter two integer values, which are read in using keyboard.nextint and stored in the variables num1 and num2. The purpose of this program is to calculate the difference between those two values and store them in a variable called difference, making sure that the result is positive. And so we have an if statement. If num1 is greater than num2, calculate the difference by subtracting num2 from num1 and storing it in difference. Otherwise, calculate the difference by subtracting num1 from num2, storing the result in the difference. And then to output the difference. What we could do instead is to replace the selection here with the ternary operator, which I can do in this way. That one line is equivalent to the if statement that I've just commented out. Let me show you how it works. The right hand side is going to be evaluated and produce a result that will then be stored in difference. That, of course, is essentially what's happening in the if statement. In one way or another, a value will be calculated and then stored in difference. The value that will be produced depends upon this condition. Of course, this condition is exactly the same one as in the if statement. So first, that condition will be evaluated. If the Boolean value is true, then this bit will be evaluated and will form the result that will be stored in difference. If this condition evaluates to false, then this bit will be evaluated and its result will be stored in difference. The true part is separated from the false part by the colon and the condition is separated from the expressions by the question mark. So if ever you want to use a ternary operator, that's how it's done. 